Well, good afternoon, everyone. And, uh, today we talked about a wide range of matters. I thank uh, the Foreign Minister for New Zealand's leadership in the aftermath of last week's uh, Pacific uh, tsunami. Uh, they immediately sent uh, much-needed humanitarian aid, closely coordinating with the United States, Australia, France, and the nations of the region to get assistance to those most directly affected. Uh, this response is representative of New Zealanders' compassion and their commitment to international cooperation. Uh, I've been in Washington for a couple of days, uh, attending what we call the... Uh... Today we had the opportunity to reflect on the speedy and effective response that both of us, uh, both nations, brought to the tragic tsunami event uh, in Samoa, an area, part of the world, where both New Zealand and the United States have responsibilities. Uh, in particular, I, I welcome the fact that our services worked so closely and cooperatively in dealing with those events. Do you agree with that? And do you think that... In particular, we reflected on our partnership, our work together in Afghanistan, where we worked together to try and ensure that there is stability and security to provide for the reconstruction work that needs to occur there. Um, we are, in New Zealand, very conscious of the fact that so often the United States is asked to step up and bear a disproportionate share of the burden of doing the difficult things in the world, and I was very pleased to have an opportunity to thank Secretary Clinton on behalf of New Zealanders for all of those things. Madam Secretary, thank you very much. Good to see you. Uh, when it comes to what we're doing together in Afghanistan, uh, we consider New Zealand a full partner at the table. Your special forces, the SAS, are among the very best that are deployed. And we want to learn from, we want to, New Zealand to take the lead on in uh, this review that we're undergoing to determine how we can best deploy uh, not just American assets, but international assets and, most importantly, Afghan assets. And the United States is still making up its mind over what its next section should be. What we are doing is taking a very hard scrub of everything that has been done for eight years. We've been here for eight months. We are committed to a, uh, an international effort. We are committed to a civilian military effort. But we want to make sure that everything we do maximizes progress toward the goals which we share. Uh, so the fact that New Zealand is committed, I want New Zealanders to know the United States is committed. We are committed in great numbers, but we value deeply the contributions of New Zealand. Hello. Hello, Alexa. <laughs> You're bound for Moscow next week. The dual track that we're pursuing with Iran uh, is, a, is a constant uh, uh, discussion, not only with Russia, but with all of uh, like-minded and other international uh, um, partners about what we're going to do to make sure that Iran fulfills its obligations. So I, I don't, you know, I don't want to characterize what President Medvedev said. We're going to get down to talking about, well, what's the next steps, and then we'll have more to, more to you know, do as that goes forward.